So today's experiment is seeing what can be done about this coffee stain. My friend spilt coffee all over my my mother's, uh, you know, duvet cover here. Um, so I want to try and get it out if I can. I've already washed it. Yeah, this is what's left after being gone through the washing machine and also I've treated it and extracted twice with a strong mix of um, sodium metabisulfite uh, spray and go you know as it was once known so like I say you know this has been already treated with sodium metabisulfite and it reduced it somewhat um, but obviously it's still here yeah so this is one of those kind of situations where you know this is really bad so it's gonna to have to be thrown away um, because it looks terrible so um, what that does is that gives me the opportunity to try a little experiment I want to see if ordinary household bleach you know that you can buy from the supermarket for like 30p or whatever um, will have any kind of effect you know further effect on this I'm guessing it will do something more I, I'm curious to see what um, if it does further take the color out which essentially is what I want do you know what I mean because look it's a it's a, a white bed sheet you know a white duvet cover sheet so it doesn't matter if this color gets removed you know because it's not going to disturb any colors or anything like that it's already white so um you know and then if that does take this coffee out then what i'll do is i'll give it a bath uh, you know basically a bleach bath followed instantly by fresh water rinse you know lots and lots of fresh water rinsing you know I understand that bleach can damage um, fibers you know this is obviously cotton and uh, yes it can damage fibers but you know this is an experiment and uh, if I can save this then then that's great you know if, if nothing happens then it'll just get thrown away so uh, I'm gonna try it now Bear with me when I say I undo this bleach. Okay, so there's not going to be much finesse in this. I'm just going to literally just pour it on and see what happens. You know, I'll do it like in a in a kind of a strip because it doesn't really matter. There we go. That's the bleach applied. So. So let's have a little look. Maybe a bit too soon to tell. It may be doing something. I mean, you know, when you use bleach in a, a stained coffee cup, it gets rid of the staining. So essentially this is coffee staining, you know, so hopefully it'll have the same effect it looks like it's doing something definitely I'm pretty sure it is actually sorting it believe it or not I'll know for sure once I've done a proper kind of bleach immersion of this duvet cover but at the moment it's looking to be doing something so I'm gonna try it on those these kind of lines here I have no idea why the coffee did those lines made its own kind of little pattern but yeah that l definitely looks to be doing something so let's have a little look at this yeah that'll do right on the lines let's see what that's doing I think I think it's working I'm pretty yeah pretty confident that it is working to some degree 
has, you know, maybe failed to work or not worked sufficiently enough for a satisfactory end result. This tells me that on a on a white, you know, just a single colour um, piece of fabric that ordinary household bleach will further go on to uh, remove the uh, coffee stain or alter the stain's appearance by bleaching it away obviously. So I'm pretty confident that if I give this a bleach bath that it will remove the rest of this. I mean this has done very well so far. I'm quite impressed, quite happy to say. How long or how much damage this bleach is doing but I will find out and see how the damage manifests itself on this duvet cover because at the end of the day it was going to have to be thrown away anyway so I'll understand it further for use for other things you know but yes that's definitely definitely taken that stain further further away so I'm going to continue and give this a, a bleach bath now yeah absolutely look at that there we go here is the duvet cover that accidentally had coffee spilt on it this is my mother's um, old uh, duvet cover so it has sentimental value because she's passed away now so obviously if something happened to it it's an incredible shame unfortunately it does have some permanent marker pen ink that I can do nothing about but I can turn a blind eye to this this is nothing but a big coffee stain you know what can you do with that looks terrible massive great big coffee stain so have a look now it doesn't have the coffee stain anymore anywhere no trace of the coffee stain No, nope. where the coffee stain was, if you asked me to point it out to you, you know, I, I really couldn't, <laughs> couldn't possibly point it out. It's, uh, it's gone, which is fantastic. I used sodium metabisulfite, which is a reducing agent, well, pretty much the strongest reducing agent that you can get that you can buy and uh, it may have reduced it somewhat this is true but definitely didn't get it all out definitely didn't remove it at all to the point where you know I was looking at it and I was thinking well phew, I'm gonna have to throw this away now so what I did was I went back to real basics and I thought if I'm going to have to throw this away, I've literally got nothing to lose than to try this technique which I used. Which is basically fill a bucket um, with warm water and uh, just add bleach, <laughs> literally just household bleach from the supermarket, the cheap thin bleach, you know, put about half of a bottle in a bucket of hot water, uh, warm water and uh, leave this in overnight rinse the hell out of it the next day put it through the washing machine dried and this is the end result so amazing result there with bleach so it does beg a few questions <laughs>